A group of Valley women have a strange story to tell. They were out at lunch when one of them got sick, so they called a lift to take them to the hospital. And that's where the story takes an unusual turn and serves as a reminder whenever you do ride share. Stephanie Bennett joins us live with the rest of the story, Steph. Yeah, they soon got into the vehicle and they basically told the driver to get to the hospital and quickly. The driver was acting nervous. They think there was a little bit of a language barrier there. And it turns out that he didn't even drive for Lyft in the first place. We just knew we were looking for a red Toyota. Christy Anderson Schmidt says she had a few friends come to visit last weekend. They went out to dinner at the Sicilian butcher when all of a sudden one of them fainted from a possible heat stroke. A fire department did come and check her vitals and um, make sure everything was OK. And then we decided we still needed to probably go to the ER. That's when one of the friends made a request for a driver on the Lyft app. When we saw a red Toyota pull up, there was probably about Five of the seven of us that kind of stormed the car and um, one of them just got in the front seat right away and we just assumed he was the Lyft driver and he was extremely nervous and extremely scared. They told the man to drive to the hospital as quickly as possible. They thought it was strange he didn't have the address and wasn't using the app, but they were in a hurry and thought there might be a possible language barrier. Then she called me back and she's like, oh my God, you're not going to believe this. I just got a call from lift that she's been waiting for us at Sicilian Butcher and wanted to know if we still needed a ride. Turns out their driver did not work for Lyft and was just pulling up to the restaurant in a similar car. Now their search is on to track him down and thank him. I think he probably thought it was just an emergency situation and we needed a ride to the hospital. If we find this guy that his passenger is okay and um, that we just appreciated him taking us to the hospital and not saying get out of my car. <laughs> Yeah, and guys, hopefully he's out there watching this story or will read it on our website. They want to give him a proper thank you in person, of course, to kind of clear the air on all this. And they did give us a description. Of course, he was driving the red Toyota. They think it might be a Camry. They say he has a dark complexion. He's tall and possibly in his early 20s. So fingers crossed. <laughs> guys, back to you. Wow, he did a good thing there. That, that's pretty crazy. They were so anxious to get to the hospital. They just got in not thinking, which makes sense. He deserves a thank you. And maybe the fair. Yeah. I don't know. Thank you, Steph. Yeah, give him a little tip or mm -hmm. something. All right, thanks, Steph.